Yeah, it's Brody and Brownie with Twig Talk. This time, though, Curtis, we're not exactly talking sticks. You're going to help me dress up like an NHL hockey player on the Sharks. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? We've talked about this for a while. Not everybody watching may know exactly what goes on. So this is I'm looking at I the got most every, important I, piece of equipment I've got everything. is not here. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, good. We're good. Cup check. Um, that is the most important piece of equipment, and I <laughs> kid you not, there are people all the way up to the NHL level that'll be like, no, I'm just going to go to practice. Don't no, ever do that. No. If you don't have that piece of equipment, <laughs> go home. Drive home or go to the pro shop. So, good job. Brody's getting dressed up here. This is exactly how we do it. Shin pads on, then you go uh, socks. And really what we want to also show you is... As we put this armor on, even more uh, recently as Logan Couture, the puck finds areas. So you see guy, guys will block a shot, and then they'll go down, and for good reason. Why? Because if it misses this equipment, your bone meets the puck, well, look not at, so much fun. Look at the back of my leg right now. I mean, there's a lot of unprotected area. If I get hit in the calf or, you know, back here... That's a great, that's, that's that's a great point, too. So we're talking about uh, blocking shots. So you don't ever want to expose the back, right? You have that hard shell on the front, um, but don't ever turn around backside because there's not much back there if you were to get hit. Ah. That's why we slash guys in the back of the legs, <laughs> keep them honest, as long as the referee's not watching. And as you can see, Brody's also got an old school garter belt, and that's to hook the socks on. You wonder why those socks don't fall down. That's exactly why. He's, uh, this stuff came out of the attic. It's has, been a while. He hasn't been in the uh, fantasy camp for a while. <laughs> Even though there's been fantasy camps, I just don't think that he was invited. I'm having issues here, Brownie. Well, it's, sometimes it's um, just got to force the issue. There we go. Now you're cooking. It's going to take me a while to get That's this fine. on. All right, so we start at the bottom. Yep. We'll eventually get to the top. Um... How long does this normally take? <laughs> well, not, it's not as quick usually as what we have to for time restraints. Usually guys will do it over the period of 10 or 15 minutes as they get ready for the game. And what they'll actually do is they'll get the bottom half on, which you're attempting to do, and then maybe, uh, you know, get a drink, walk around. We've got meetings going on. So it's not like you just, some guys dress all the way up and just go straight out. How do you feel so far? We're good. You know what? I'm not even going to do the back right Kay. now. This is, this is good enough. Let's get your pants on. All right. You remember how to put those on? It's weird that you've said that to me now. Okay. <laughs> It's in the hockey locker room. There's some things that are completely appropriate inside there. How's, uh, Make sure all my microphones stay How's on. it feel? Do you feel like you could go out? Suspenders, that's probably the second most important part. You know, I only got these for looks, to be honest, no, but you I, need I do like the way they feel. You know, it holds the pants up nice and tight. All right. Now, here's the money makers. Let's get into your skates. All right. Okay. You remember how to put those on? <laughs> I loosened them up, so that's good. That's great. Here, here's the question. I like tucking in the toe. Uh, under, the tongue there? Sorry, the tongue yeah. underneath the, um, the shin pad. Yeah. But not everybody does that. Like Ovi, for example. He's got that. Yeah, I had out. it out uh, for flexibility. Some guys like to have this portion. I'll set down all my equipment so I can show you. Here's the tongue. So basically, like a tongue uh, of a shoe or a boot, same idea. Some guys will actually have that back under the shin pad. but. I found that it wasn't, he didn't have the mobility. It was a little bit too tight. Uh, so some guys will have it out like that, shin pad in behind. And then what you'll do is you'll have a shorter shin pad so it doesn't restrict, um, you know, the way that you move down in that region. Here, put this other skate on. This, I remember something. Just put this one on. You know what? Now, this is where I bring value. Oh, this I see. Is, I see is, what we're doing this here. Is, this is just like in the youth locker room. Put your foot up here. There's no way with, with put your it's foot up. It's hard to up. reach, huh? Well, oh, with, you're gonna with do the it size of your arms, um, I want to show you how tight you're supposed to tie these up. This is what I do in the youth ages because they don't actually have the muscles. So there you, you want to yeah. make sure that you really get that. What they want to do is have that foot in there so tight yeah. that it's one with the, the blade, the, the boot, everything. And I don't know if you've ever tightened them that tight before. That is pretty tight. I try and get them tight, but you just did it tighter. Well, I've had experience with three boys over the years, 
and multiple youth teams. And this is also going to be great because you can say, you know what, I had Curtis tie my skates. This is what it feels like to be a Brown. How about this? You put those on. In the interest of time, can you can you tighten me up here? Yeah, I'll and get I you. Will, uh, I'll I will get, get my elbow pads on. This is teamwork on. here. <laughs> teamwork. So we're gonna <laughs> we're trying to get Brazil dressed, dressed as up. fast as possible. So he he can stand up and look like a hockey player. Like a true bender that I what am. What I want to do, as soon as you get that on, I want to show the viewers where some of those spots are. Yeah. That pucks can find their way through. That is the least favorite part of ice hockey, right. obviously, when you, 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 you're ahead of me now. I wasn't quite as smooth as you. I won't do this one quite as tight for the purpose of time. Where's your, we're gonna put those on next. Looks like I got, I got the your, tongue out on this one. I, yeah, I forgot to tuck it in. I'm gonna show the difference. All right. I'm gonna show the difference. Okay. Just so people can look at it. All right. Okay. Double knot me. Now put that on, and then I want you to show everybody the areas that are still exposed. And there's different types of equipment Those are pretty brawny, as well, you can see. Need a lot of protection. Here. That's for a, a TV guy. <laughs> and we're not. I don't. I don't know if I want to uh, have you put the jersey on just because it's. I don't feel right about putting number six on you. But look at sp spaces here. Right in the exposed. gut. Up here, like suppose you get a uh, puck in there. Not fun. This crack in be between the elbow pads about back like, here. Right where Logan got it. Like this right is kind of where we would work Ow. you over in front, so it doesn't hurt up here. But I'll tell you where there is, there is a lot of padding right here, like on the kidneys. So now bend, bend down in a squat position a little bit, and you see there's also sometimes there. Yeah, a little opening right there, yep. Lastly, show the viewers your tongue. See how that one's out? More flexibility. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> And You're this on one here skates. probably feels a little bit more restricted. Yeah, it is. It is a different, different option, different opinion there. All right, can we, let me throw this on here. Oh, I, I the think most important done. thing oh, after is yeah. I gotta, I gotta have this. By the, the way, I always line. have, I always have an issue. And no, I'm not gonna buckle this up for you, but oh, I do want, over. I do want to see you. There you go. This is my favorite part. This is what. The birdcage? Yeah, I got to see you in a birdcage. Got to protect here. the investment here. Yeah. Here we That's go. That's my favorite part. I got to be honest, it's been a few years. <laughs> is there any uh, spider webs inside of that thing? It'd blow the dust out, yeah. So that's it, Brownie. We uh, did good. Other than the fact that it took us a long time, I think I'm ready to play.